And then by your forecast, June, inflation going to stay elevated through to the end of the year, you think? Yeah, so the last time we met, uh, I said if we're lucky. Oh, yes, uh, I remember. What was the figure you said? Was it 4.2? Yes, we should get to 3 to 4% at the end of the year, yeah. But so far, we've not been very lucky. The weather has worked against us. Uh, India has uh, reduced the supply of uh, rice. The same with Vietnam. They're limiting their exports. And the bad weather has... Uh, has made it, uh, I mean, overall production has been affected. And then combine that with uh, Russia and uh, Saudi Arabia deciding to produce less oil, uh, it's looking like a replay, a rerun of uh, late 2022 again. And the BSP might have uh, later on, might have to, uh, have to tighten monetary policy again, although not by as much as last year. Okay, June, so now one what's last the question. forecast? So now yeah. what's go the ahead, forecast? Go ahead. <laughs> Do you Sorry? A, so now what's your new forecast? Well, we can still hit the target uh, by the end of the year, 4%. Uh, but we saw that, you know, the last print actually strayed away from the target at 5.3, no? uh, coming from 4.7, largely because of rice and, and oil. Now, rice has been stabilized, but the oil component could spill over to services. So that's, that's the big risk, no? Uh, and since uh, services, including rentals, have been pretty sticky, uh, those will might uh, you know they might uh, be affected by so-called second round effects. No, so when the price of oil goes up, we all know that it it has a chain reaction no? uh, to the rest of the economy that again will make it difficult for for retailers for service providers uh, to to adjust prices lower or keep them from going up. No?